Okay, so you've downloaded ET, you've installed it, and now you've opened it up. And this is what you will see. It's the opening cinema. You can watch it through if you like, but most of us prefer to uh, just hit the escape key and take you to the next menu. There we go. I just did that. Now you'll see your choices here. The first time you'll want to set your options. There are different options for various things. This is the game options. You want to do a, 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 uh, an alias for yourself. You can change it once you're in game. This one you can choose your uh, crosshairs, whether or not your gun is visible, various different things that you're going to see in the game. The control options. Here are some other options you may want to change your control around if you're left-handed instead of right-handed, etc. Or if you just don't like the way they operate. Here's the system options. And one thing you'll want to do in the game options is you'll want to make sure that you set these three to yes. That way it'll automatically download any maps you don't have because when you first start you won't have any maps you accumulate them as you play but when you first start you won't have any and that way the server will download them automatically for you now let's go back and see, show you what you see when you go online this is blank because I haven't chosen the right input up at the top left you'll find uh, the input options these filters allow you to choose which servers you want to see. If you only want to see ones with friendly fire on or off or only punkbuster servers or whatever. Now here's what you get when you click the internet option, the whole list of them. You can join any server you like by clicking on it. And if you choose you can mark this box over to the right and it'll mark it as a favorite so when you go back to your favorite menu it'll show up there. Now the, the quickest way to connect is by the connect to IP option. If you just hit the box, and our IP is et.ofclan.net. Second server is et2.ofclan.net. Very easy to remember. So you fill that in and connect. Next thing you'll see, if everything's working right, is this map. Well, sometimes you get this warning. Just try to reconnect and eventually it'll come in. Unless your ping is very, very bad. Now you'll see at the bottom it's loading the information that it needs. There's the name of the map, base race, and uh, some information about the map. It also tells you by the symbols up above there the way the server is set. Now here's a spectator screen. You can hit F1 to uh, follow other players around. In this case there are no other players on to follow. You can also look around to a certain extent. But let's get into the game by clicking the L button, as it says, to open the Limbo menu. There's the Limbo menu with the map. It shows your objectives. There's your player uh, name that you put in. You choose a side. You can also uh, click on these buttons to see information on the objectives on the map. Once you've chosen a side, you can see I'm a lieutenant there it'll show up as a different uh, as a German lieutenant or an Ac Axis lieutenant if you change that. These are the skill stars in this case it's signals, light weapons, and soldier with four being the max. As you can see the uh, choices here, these that are in red are all filled in. That means I've completed all four stars for that one. I've completed two for this one. That's uh, Soldier, Medic, Engineer, Field Ops, and Covert Ops. Let's go into an Engineer and notice that the helmet changed. Uh, uh, weapon options for an Engineer, there are only basically two. The uh, rifle with the grenade launcher, and on some maps grenades aren't available, and the MP40 submachine gun. If we go to Soldier, you can see we have Mortar, Panzerfaust, basically Bazooka, Flamethrower, Mobile Machine Gun, etc. But since you're going to be on most maps you're going to need at least one engineer. Uh, they're, the, they're the weapons for the various uh, 
specialties. On most maps you're going to need at least one engineer, so let's go with that then. We'll click engineer. And we'll go with uh, the MP40 submachine gun. Here are some more weapons for various things. Okay. Now in this case I just happened to join the map right as it ended. And this fellow Odi Flocon is just about to disconnect. If I recall correctly. It takes a moment or two for the map to change. During this time you can chat where the flashing cursor is. People like to exchange comments between maps. Some are not very complimentary, but mostly it's nice people. Okay, here's the next map loading with a brief description and a photo of it. And here we are. Since I was a soldier on the last map, it's left me as a soldier on this map. Notice on the left my uh, skill stars. There are the health and stamina bars on the left and the special energy bar on the right. Now, the warm-up usually lasts about 30 seconds. You can't really do anything but kill each other. <laughs> once, once the match starts, nothing you do in the warm-up is going to count anyway. Now, since I'm going to need to be an engineer and I'm the only one on the map, let's go back and change to a, an allied engineer. In this case, the allies have the objectives. The Allies are attacking, and the Axis are defending. So, here we are. We start out in this particular map. We could break out the window. You could use a knife to do it if you wanted to. Jump down. Notice a little flash of pain, and I lost a little health when I jumped out of the window. Now we're coming up to a constructible. Now, constructibles are things that you can build as an engineer. Red flags are Axis only. Blue flags are allies only, and gray flags, like this one, can be built by either side. So now that we've done that, one of our objectives, if you remember, was to capture the forward bunker. So now we're doing that. Then we'll move on. And this is one of the entrances we need to destroy. There are two entrances on this map. But in this case, because of time constrictions, I'm only going to be able to do one. Now you planted your dynamite. Best to get out of the way so you don't get blown up by your own dynamite. Now there are two objectives on this particular version of the map. I'm going to grab one and show you. The objective is to uh, steal the parts and bring them back to the truck on the right there. And you can see the counter on the left where the uh, how long it takes the dynamite to go off. There we go. We've destroyed the door next objective is to grab the parts. Now, of course, in the game, you would have sound. But I can't uh, record sound and narration at the same time with my equipment. You'd also have a lot of, of mad as a wet dog axis defending you, these uh, objectives. So you'd have to fight your way, probably die a few times to get them. But now you've got the objective. It tells you you've got the objective. And you would get a voice telling you the same thing. Now you run back and you'd normally have to fight your way back. Now you've secured the objective. As I said, there would be two objectives on this map, but I'm out of time. 